वेलकम टू इन्फा मिनट्स और टॉपिक इज कोर स्लैश कर्नल ऑफ अ सेक्शन एक्सप्लेन द टर्म लिमिट ऑफ एक्सेंट्रिसिटी एंड डिटरमाइन द लिमिट ऑफ एक्सेंट्रिसिटी फॉर फर्स्ट रेक्टेंगुलर सेक्शन सेकेंड सर्कुलर सेक्शन एंड थर्ड हॉलो रेक्टेंगुलर सेक्शन सो सोल्यूशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कॉलम्स मेड ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट विच आर वीक इन टेंशन एनी वर्टिकल लोडिंग विच इज एक्सेंट्रिक टू both centroidal xx axis and centroidal yy axis of the cross section causes bending of column and produce tension at respective part so limit of eccentricity refers to maximum eccentric distance that is ex and ey to which vertical load may be applied without producing tension in the column the central area within which acting vertical load produces zero produces zero tension in the column is called core or kernel of a section so there is one arbitrary central area within any section of a column within which if a load is applied no tension is produced in the column so this area is called core or kernel so now we have to determine this core or kernel area or i may say the limit of eccentricity for this three sections so first let us take a rectangular section consider a rectangular section column of dimension of width and depth as b and d also consider a vertical point load p acting on centroidal xx axis and at eccentric distance ey from centroidal yy axis so now for this section we have to determine maximum value of ey to produce zero tension in the column so we know that due to load p there will be two kinds of stresses first a direct stress sigma d plus bending stress sigma b due to bending of column about yy axis now due to bending point b will be subjected to maximum compression and point a will be subjected to maximum tension so now let us consider point a the total stress or resultant stress at point a is given as sigma a is equal to the direct stress which is nothing but the compressive stress due to load p plus sigma max of t due to bending about y y axis so for stress minus the maximum tensile stress due to bending about yy this is by considering compressive stress as positive and tensile stress as negative so now for zero tension to be produced in column your sigma a should be greater than equal to 0 so substituting this condition in this equation we can write sigma a equal to your compressive stress is given as p by the cross sectional area a minus bending stress is given as bending moment which is equal to p into ey upon iyy into x max of tension so this sigma a should be greater than equal to 0 so equating this with 0 we have p by a where area is b into d minus p into ey upon iyy is db cube by 12 multiply by x max of tension is b by 2 this should be greater than equal to 0 so taking this term on the right hand side we have p by bd should be greater than equal to p into ey upon db cube by 12 multiply by b by 2 now we see that this b and this b cube gets cancelled so as to have b square this 12 and this 2 gets cancelled so as to have 6 in the denominator this d and this d gets cancelled this p and this p gets cancelled and finally b and b square gets cancelled so as to have single b over here so from this we get that your ey maximum eccentricity should be less than equal to b by 6 so we can write your ey max is equal to b by 6